Hi there, Maggie May here. It is a snowy, cold day in Vancouver, but that's not gonna stop me from going to the Signs of Cocktails media preview at Science World. Cause you know what? Drinking keeps you warm. So let's head on in and see what this teaser is all about. Oh, I don't have proper footwear. This is, this is my life in Vancouver. Slush and mud. Tonight. And your guest name? Um, my guest. So the event hosts different food and drink vendors. They come down and present their drinking awares and ticket holders get to sample and try everything. And if you like something, you get to go back for more. So the actual event is in February. This is January, mid-January, so this is about the teaser. This is to kind of get people excited about it. What better time than to test out my newest drinking pill? So I'm Asian, I get the Asian glow, and that means I drink a little and I turn a lot red. So I've been sent sunset alcohol flush support pills, hopefully help with this. So consider we're gonna be drinking a whole lot of cocktails. Let's test this out. We've got some information on the bottle, attacks flushing at the source. That's a cuter name for it, alcohol flush as opposed to Asian glow. Control the reaction, reduces redness. 60 capsules in this bottle. We've got suggested usage to help ease alcohol flushing reactions. Take three capsules. Whoa, three capsules, 30 minutes before drinking. Every four thereafter. Okay, I better hurry up because I'm going to be drinking soon. Do not drink and drive. Operate heavy machinery or let your friends take your karaoke and checks for you. <laughs> That's cute. My videographer is running late, so let's do this myself. Fairly large. Mm. Oh, it has a weird oily taste to it. Oh. Or like a vegetable taste. Was oh, it the is it that cellulose? Is that the celery? Oh. Mm. Why? Like fish oil? Mm. Oh, there's a palette. All right. Uh, the vet has started. I'm gonna try to abstain from drinking by taking some photos and kind of covering the vet before um, I take my first cocktail just to let this kick in. So, oh, join me. Taste came back up. We're at the right place. So I have to admit, I tried this before, but I didn't do it properly because I was impatient and I didn't want to wait 30 minutes. I waited maybe 10 minutes. So they didn't work the first time I tried it, but they did make my pee very neon yellow. <laughs> That's a fun So perk. I look forward to that later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like things are getting started. Short ribs, they're cooked for 24 hours, 70 degrees. I'm gonna give them a light smoke. This is made with apple cider vinegar, maple syrup, and a little bit of scotch single malt whiskey. Then we have a brown butter powder. Some pickled golden beets. These are pearls made out of scotch whiskey with agar agar to hold them together. Some red vein sorrel for a little pop of color. Building that base, that's the rule one of drinking. Eat before you drink, eat more during your when, when, while well you drink, and then eat after. Mm. Oh, it has whiskey flavor to it. Really nice. I'll be back for thirds and fourths for sure. Check out this beautiful spread. Thank you. 
turkey meatball. I'm gonna pass on that one. Oh. There might be dairy in it. I have to play it a bit safe if we're drinking. I don't want a projectile bonnet. That's fun. It's all good. I'm gonna eat it with the mac and cheese. So it's like mac and cheese and meatball. It's okay, we can get another one. So it's actually pieces of fried chicken cut up very finely with tons of fresh herbs, hot sauce, and Japanese mayo. It's quite the heat lamp apparatus you it have is. there. Yeah. yeah, it's like a salamander, um, but it changes the welding tool into a device. Kind of distributes the heat more evenly. Chaga, 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 chaga. It's too big. Uh, we'll show her how it's done. Um, <laughs> uh, it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's like a burrow sushi but with bread. So it's like softer and delicious. Kind of spicy too. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks everyone. It's uh, such a pleasure to welcome you tonight. Uh, this is our fifth anniversary of Science of Cocktails. Uh, it is an amazing event that's very important to science world. It supports our class field anniversary program. If you're not familiar with that program, that's a program where we reach out to underserved schools and through the bursary we're able to fund their, most of their um, admission fees as well as the cost of bus them here to science. It covers 50 to 100 percent of those costs, and we're able to do one to two classes for every $800 raised. Now we're currently at about $950,000 over the five years we've had science and cocktails, and we believe that this year, with the great event that we have and the fact that ticket sales are almost sold out, that we will reach well over a million dollars, probably getting close to 1.2 million in total. It's amazing, isn't it? melon juice mixed with sodium alginate and then I'm pouring it into a calcium chloride bar and the two chemicals have a reaction where they form a hardened surface around the juice so I'm making caviar essentially and then so you see it's already formed into so that's just melon juice with a little bit of chemical in it Drink of the night. Let's see if we turn red. Oh, he did not skimp on the gin. Have you got any balls yet? <laughs> I'm gonna try to tongue the balls. That's really strong. Mm -hmm. Washing, which is introducing fat into alcohol. Um, the way we do that is by taking butter, melting it down, and adding it into this here Appleton rum uh, in a bottle this size, which is uh, the 1.14 liter. It's about uh, 450 grams of butter. So a pound, or, a pound of butter, 40 ounce bottle. So that's the fat-washed rum with butter. 
and then the popcorn on top we chose because it's actually dressed with malic and citric acid. Uh, tastes a lot like lime. Poor Joyce can't have the butter rum drink, so I'm gonna have to drink two for her. Such a good friend. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like rum and coke, but that saltiness of the popcorn and that little bit of butteriness. I like it. Come out of the dark into the light. One drink in, that's two ounces. Not bad. Are you wearing makeup? I am, not a ton though. I feel a bit of warmth, but I can't tell if that's just because we've been running around. That's true. And also there was a fire blowing near us. So. <laughs> I don't look red or feel red. I'm not splotchy as I would normally be. So, so far so good. Let's put it to test with more. <laughs> So this is our honeyed old fashioned. Get the logo in there. Um, essentially, we've taken the basic framework of the old fashioned. We've uh, uh, and it's added a few honey notes to it. So honey bitters are in there. A little bit of uh, honey itself is a sweetener. But the main factor of the drink is actually the beeswax. So what we've done is we made the entire cocktail in a large format, and then we portioned it into a beeswax coated bottle. So over time, the wax and the cocktail will interact. No, not dissimilar to how you know a spirit will age in a wooden barrel or wine will age in a stainless uh, vat. The same kind of thing will happen inside this bottle, and the honey, honey and waxy notes will then impart on the cocktail itself. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. That's red there. Coke, 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 coke. Look how coke. blue my hands are. I'm blue, ba ba dee ba dee da, ba 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 ba. My boobs, my boobs are like red. Yes. Yeah, they're warmer. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Her, bo her boobs are red. <laughs> <laughs> they're very red. My crotch is red. Okay, Andrew, let's see. Is your crotch red? Why isn't my crotch red? Your knee's red. That one. Oh wait, that hip is red. <laughs> I don't know. But like, Why look at this. Red? It's just. <laughs> your face. Yeah. Off. Our friend, our faces are all red. Andrew, what's your face? Is your face red? Oh, oh, you look so good, Andrew! <laughs> you look the best! <laughs> look at him! <laughs> Joyce is wearing two layers of pants. If we move one layer of pants... I was concerned that my crotch isn't red, but... <laughs> <laughs> Some time has elapsed. I am two drinks in, four ounces. A little rosier. I'm one drink and one sip in. <laughs> look exactly the same. I can feel my ears burning. Oh, that's strong. Woo! See, the last drink wasn't strong. It was more Coke and popcorn. That was the one I couldn't have. This is just bourbon. Bourbon all day. Can we try the Power Drill Whiskey Sour? Definitely. So what I have in these bottles is Jim Beam Bourbon, uh, some lemon, pineapple juice, sugar, and tiki bitters. What we do after that is throw a little bit of egg white in there. Here we are. out into the light face check number three I uh, you look splotchier yeah I can tell noticeably I feel warm in my face like I feel splotchy <laughs> <laughs> what does that feel like erratic erratic I definitely I'm definitely feeling the cocktails it's just sad that it's reflecting in my face but it's not as bad like I've had it before where is that a person Oh gosh, oh God. <laughs> um, I've had um, a couple before where like I feel red and it looks red, but like this is actually not that bad. It's decent. Yeah, you know what? I actually do feel like the pills are working a little bit. It's subduing the redness maybe because usually I'm like out of control. I look like a tomato. Mm -hmm. And then my chest too. It's It doesn't seem as bad as usual. Four for me, three, three. for her. Tart. That's strong. Not as strong. Tart. I like it. It's very refreshing. Um, the egg yolk or the egg white definitely adds a bit of sweetness to it. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. 
All right, it's good. Maybe that's do some more grazing. And it's swirling. Can I pop it? Can I pop yeah, it? Yeah. Ah! Because <laughs> you know, I'm a science of cocktails and I might fall down and things will tip from side to side and I'll be dead. But if I put them on this handy thing called a spill knot, you can move it in all directions. Oh! Can I try? Just be careful, don't bonk into anything because then it will spill. Four drinks here! Oh! Can you twerk? Yeah! Twerk! Get that for the club! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Bring it on the dance floor! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool! So, can I go like... Uh, if you're going uh, full, well, essentially don't be shy. Oh! <laughs> oh, Joyce is finished. Last one for me. There's a light in my eyeball. That eyeball. I oh can't wink. This is a very red light that we're in. I think I'm just red. Sorry, sunset alcohol flush support. I'm feeling flushed. I looked flushed. Not quite what I expected. Not bad. Out of five stars, I would give this two. It made me look rosy. I would just like to say for the record, this is the second product we've tried that didn't work. The, the first one was a patch and the article mistakenly said that it worked for us, <laughs> but it didn't. But that being said, to be fair, we only had one patch when apparently we were supposed to have two, but this one we followed the instructions to a T. Three pills, 30 minutes before, right? Yes, but we, okay, considering if you're gonna be out on night drinking, I've only had two ounces each, four drinks, eight ounces, that's nothing. On a night out, I can down a like 10, 12 shots. I've only had three drinks and I, I think usually before I finish the first drink, I can feel the flush. This time I didn't feel the flush until maybe the second drink. So maybe it just delays it for me, but still, I look pretty red. Yeah. Not bad, uh, suitable alternative and not the number one product. We are still looking for the number one product. If you know of it, please let me know. <laughs> if you're a company that offers it, send me some. I would love to test your product out. But for now, thanks for watching. This is Joyce and Maggie at the Science of Cocktails preview, testing out alcohol flush. Thanks for watching. And as always, please hit the subscribe button for some more food, fuel, fun. <laughs> so we just finished using the washroom and guess what? Our pee was neon yellow. Truth. TMI, but you know what? This is what happens. You take three pills, your pee is, oh my God, I'm so red. Right? Me too. Do we get more redder after the pee?